Good morning everyone. In the news now is an article that many of you might have expected and it's got a couple of twists here and there as we would expect and this is to do with the coronavirus lockdown. Remember we are still in lockdown level one and at this stage we have curfews in place <clears throat> but now it looks like the National Coronavirus Command Council uh, have decided that they want to um, impose more curfews on the hot spots. Now, the big thing is, what is a coronavirus hotspot? How do you define it? How do you decide where you want to do what? And I can tell you now that mostly metros will be affected by this because this is where control needs to be exercised and where all the implementation of all the New World Order regul regulations needs to take place. So, please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon to receive notifications for new videos and thank you to all of those of you who have made contributions towards this channel and the double o days tour for the tour to continue we must still do the northern cape as well as northwest and we'll be there in january and we need to build up those funds to make that possible thank you to all of those of you that have contributed and you can find the details for the bank account the double o days bank account the capital account in the description below each and every video so thank you very much to those of you that are making contributions the meetings are ongoing in cape town i'm i'm having meetings continuously and it's really wonderful to see the people support and we need the support to stop what our government is doing to us and look what is coming these people have no medical expertise this national coronavirus command council has no proper medical expertise and the mac the ministerial advisory committee that had real health experts and real medical experts they have been all booted remember and they were replaced by human behavioral specialists showing you what the intentions are clearly so we need your support. We need every person to become an advocate against these new world order agendas that wants to take our freedom away. And the headline for this article, breaking a 2200 hour curfew for South Africa's COVID-19 hotspots and new booze restrictions. The NCCC recommends areas deemed COVID-19 hotspots across the country will soon see a curfew between uh, 10 o'clock in the evening and 4 o'clock in the morning so the 4 o'clock remains the same there will be alcohol restrictions in place in these areas which will allow the sale of alcohol only from Mondays to Thursdays and just remember these will mostly be the metros where these hotspots are in fact they can make it whatever they want because what is a hotspot based on new coronavirus cases now can you test for coronavirus uh, for COVID-19 no you cannot can you test for the novel coronavirus no you cannot you can only test for the cold virus which is a coronavirus only a portion of a cold virus a portion of the rna of a cold virus is all you can test for you cannot test for for covid 19 because it's a disease you develop a disease because of a virus you cannot test for a disease you can test for a virus but in this case you cannot test for a novel virus so most of these tests mean absolutely nothing and they base the hot spots on these tests so it further says that it appears that bars and restaurants will be allowed to trade in these hotspot areas but only until nine o'clock in the evening so take, take note of that if the NCCC recommendation is agreed to now Sir Ramaphosa is a pushover can he make real decisions himself I haven't seen him make one yet. Not a single decision that I could see has been made by Sir Ramaphosa. He's a complete pushover. He's a new old order sellout. He was bought many years ago and he's a complete useless imbecile with regards to our country and our freedom because he's handing our freedom over in a platter and he's become my number one enemy to remove from government as soon as we can and we need your support to do that the national coronavirus command council has agreed that there should be a 2200 curfew in COVID 19 hotspot areas across the country that alcohol sales should be restricted to monday uh, to thursday and that pubs and taverns should be shut at nine o'clock in the evening 
News 24 understands from impeccable sources close to the discussion. So this has been leaked, which is normal these days. The NCCC met on Tuesday when it recommended that the consumption of alcohol be banned in public areas such as beaches and parks. It's already been banned in those areas. It's part of the bylaws. Hello. And that restaurants should be shut by 9 o'clock in the evening in areas where there are spikes in COVID-19 infections. Now, once again, like I say, they have no idea how to prove that COVID-19 inspections have spiked. The only thing they can prove is that the coronavirus has spiked in an area. That could just be someone having the cold, not the flu, the cold. It further recommended that public gatherings in these hotspot areas should be limited to 100 people indoors and 250 outdoors, including for religious events, sources close to the meeting said. So that would halve the amount of meeting that can be in a, at an event now. News24 understands that those at the meeting on Tuesday agreed that there should be regionalized restrictions in place to curb the spread of the virus in hotspot areas such as Nelson Mandela Bay and the Garden Route. The list of COVID-19 hotspots areas is not finite, but the government has focused its attention on the Western Cape and Eastern Cape. Take note, people. For the rest of the country, it appears that level one of the nationwide lockdown will remain in place according to sources. Insider said those at the meeting were told that Nelson Mandela Bay posed the biggest risk as hospitals were full, including private health care facilities. Worse still, the country is expected to see an influx of people from Gauteng in the Western Cape to the Eastern Cape posing a challenge for local authorities. Sources said the NCCC recommended that all post-funeral events like after-tears events be banned in hotspot areas. Highway initiation schools are said to be reopened across the Eastern Cape with strict regulations except in Nelson Mandela Bay. How are they going to regulate this? Absolute hogwash. Sources said those at the meeting expressed concern about the mushrooming of illegal initiation schools if the backlog of initiates was not dealt with. Listen, why do you restrict anything to begin with? If people want to remain safe, then they can stay at home. They can wear a mask. They can do all of these things. Why restrict everyone? Utter, utter madness and the removal of our freedom. But this will be supervised by teams from health police, local officials, and even traditional leaders and insiders says, how is health officials going to go into the bush to check initiation events? They haven't done it before. Why will they do it now? It's absolute rubbish. The NCCC recommendations are being discussed on Wednesday morning at a meeting of the Presidential Coordinating Council made up of premiers, metro mayors, and representatives from local government. And be sure that uh, the premier in the Western Cape, Alan Windy, will be recommending many things to lock us down during the festive season. There will be some counter proposals, but I think there is agreement that we cannot afford stricter regulations as much as we need it. We just can't afford it, an insider said. And I agree. Cabinet is expected to meet uh, is expected to meet to rubber stamp the recommendations before President Sir Ramaphosa announces the new measures this week. So I will definitely be covering that when he makes that speech. The previous one was a complete waste of my time and vomit worthy. So hopefully this one will bring us something that is significant. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications and like the video if you've liked it to so that the algorithms can spread it and thank you once again to all of those who have contributed towards this channel as well as the double ods tour we need your contributions to keep going thank you very much for those of you who have contributed the description for the bank account can be found in the description below the video thank you very much till the next video